Of the 49 schools involved with You Can Play, just five are in the South. As the first university in Virginia to become involved, Washington and Lee is helping to blaze a trail. The whole You Can Play idea is just catching on sort of across the country, and our region is sort of still catching up a little bit, but that's sort of how these kinds of things work. I think we probably are the first one in our league in particular to do this. This past Monday, WNL held an official premiere of its You Can Play video. Kate Fagan, a columnist for ESPN the Magazine and ESPNW, was the guest speaker at the event. Her speech focused on inclusion in sports as well as in life. When I was playing college basketball, there was a lot of women doing a lot of work to make sure everybody knew that they were not gay and would never get the impression that they're gay. And that's a lot of work. That's a huge burden to be carrying. In the video produced by WNL, both gay and straight student athletes spoke on the subject of acceptance. Among the athletes featured in the video was Nelson Helm, an openly gay swimmer for WNL. Look at uh, myself or look at other people and say, hey, like, he did it or she did it and, you know, take strength from that. But all sports on this campus are very open to every type of person. Student athletes were not the only people who participated in WNL's You Can Play video. Here's what head women's lacrosse coach Brooke O'Brien had to say about her involvement. I have been around openly gay people and athletes my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, so um, really it was only when I moved down here to WNL did it become less of um, maybe a presence, um, and maybe a more hidden presence on our campus. Um, and, that, and again, that's part of the reason why I believe the message is important. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Megan Mottella.